So Navajo Nation was heavily mined for uranium as a result of um, weapons development during the Second World War and the Cold War. And the result of that is more than 500 abandoned uranium mines and um, a total of over 1,100 waste sites associated with those. And they are a mixture of heavy metals, including arsenic and uranium. Proteins function in three dimensions and zinc is an essential part of making the three-dimensional structure. So zinc finger proteins are proteins that use zinc to gain the structure that they need for their function. Zinc finger proteins are proteins which perform a variety of functions in the cell and in your body. They're actually very, very important. They comprise approximately 10% of the proteome. That is 10% of all the proteins in your body. The reason we're so interested in the zinc finger proteins is it offers a potential way of reversing the toxicity of some of the heavy metals. We also see arsenic and uranium as common contaminants in um, groundwater that often is used for drinking water. The problem that occurs is that when people are exposed to heavy metals, again like uh, uranium and arsenic, the arsenic in particular can replace the zinc ion in these zinc finger proteins and in doing so it impairs the function of the protein. So that can lead to carcinogenesis because if your DNA repair mechanism is not operating properly, if you have a defective cell that is becoming cancerous potentially, the DNA repair proteins cannot zoom in and repair the damage as they're supposed to. Our research has found that certain metals uh, displace or kick out zinc from these zinc finger proteins. Many metals that are a problem in the Navajo Nation, we have found are a problem for disrupting zinc finger function. The samples are analyzed for metal content through a partnership with the Centers for Disease Control and their biomonitoring laboratory. We're conducting studies on which metals disrupt zinc fingers, proteins, and what concentrations or level of those metals disrupt the proteins. And in that way we get a better idea of honing in on which metals are most likely to cause health issues. The, the specific impact that we're most um, interested in is not only identification of a problem, but some means of intervening to reduce the risk and help restore health in the population. All of the data that we collect from Navajo is done in partnership with people from the community who we've trained as researchers. And we work very closely with Navajo Department of Health and now also with Navajo Area IHS. The University of New Mexico Supercomputer Center, the Center for Advanced Research Computing, has been the center and the nexus of the computational modeling aspects of this project, which involve, of course, field work and interactions directly on the reservation, and as well uh, experimental work in Dr. Hudson's lab. The data that we collect is very multidimensional. We have two different cohort studies that we've looked at now, one in the older generation that was um, assessing 1,300 individuals, and now we're looking at mothers, dads, and babies in 1,500 families. We're looking at 36 metals in the biomonitoring analysis and numerous other um, means of exposure, family histories. So to manage and coordinate all of those data along with the multiple outcome measures is a huge computing challenge. And working with um, the center has helped us in, in both getting the access to the computer um, size and speed that we need, but also in looking at how we store these data. This is a very exciting uh, project because it gives us the opportunity to do in computation what would take much longer potentially in the laboratory. So the challenge for us is whether we can put together the right combination of techniques, math, physics, biology, etc., in order to make this computational prediction as accurate as possible.